Hey there, this is Mark. In this video, we'll take a look at how to change colors with the Color Override node as well as the Matte Blur node. First thing I'll do is I'll go back in OpenGL to get out of my render mode. Then I'll scrub the timeline to see where the splashes are occurring. And let's stop on this frame. Frame number 23. I'll zoom in and you can see that there are differences between the water on the ground and the splash going in the air. Not only are the blues different, but the splash has a black outline that I'd like to treat and change to be a little more pleasing. So let's first go into our node view and I'll go back to the top. And we can see that we have our network laid out pretty nicely. We have our background on the right and I'll select my transform tool so that when I click on an object it highlights. So there's our puddles, uh, girl's shadow, the girl itself, and the splashes finally. What I'd like to do is select the splash and then I can go to my drawing view and I can simply select this eyedropper and pick the lines color. Now if I go to my color node I can see the palette has been selected as well as the color swatch that it's using so I know this is the exact color I need to change. Let's go back to our camera and node view. So knowing that this is the color I want to change, I'm going to add a color override and I'll find that in my node library down here. And there it is, or you can type it in if you need to find it. It's in our filter under color override. And if I look at the color override, it has three inputs. The first being texture, the next being a transformation, and the next one being the image. So in this case, all I want to do is change colors, so I'll only use the image and then I'll click the layer properties for this. Now if you recall when we used the eyedropper we found out that the color associated was puddles and it was cleanup was the color. So what I'll do is in the individual color overrides I'll click and drag cleanup into there and just to verify it I'll change it from new RGBA by clicking this little down arrow and I'll choose color not visible. So as you can see, that color has just disappeared. If I render it, that's how it looks like instead. But I actually want to change it to something that's a slight off blue as opposed to making it go away. So we're going to switch this back to new RGBA. You see the black has come back. And I'll actually double click this to bring up the color picker. Next, I can actually use the eyedropper here by click, drag, and letting go inside the blue to pick the exact same shade. And then I'll actually go to the multi-wheel mode just to show you how you have more options in here. And what I want to do is just lower the value a little bit until I get a nice offset color. So you can see I have the blue inside and then I have this darker blue version of itself to, to really frame it nicely. So now we've changed the line color of the splash, what I want to do is I want these splashes on the ground to match this. So let's go back to OpenGL and a quick way to do this is to use what's called a matte blur. Now a matte blur basically takes a single shape and gives it a single color. So you could have uh, the character entirely with all these different colors and if you apply a matte blur you get a single color result out of it. So since these are single colors all on the ground. I should be safe using this technique. If you look in the filter section in the node library, you have the mad blur down here. So I'll drag one of these in and under puddles, I'll attach that. Next, I'll turn on the layer properties and you can see that the mad blur is telling it to be white. If I render it, you see that all my pu puddles has turned white. What I want to do is I want to change this color to be the exact same one here. So I'll simply click on the white area here, which brings up my multi-wheel mode, or you could also be in single wheel mode if you prefer. And then I'll click and drag this eyedropper until I'm on the same color here and let it go. So now you see our puddles are matching our splashes. And so that looks a lot better. And now we're ready for the next segment in the next video.